Nicholas of Cusa. Every person who wants to rise to the knowledge of something must necessarily believe in that without which he cannot rise. All research is based on comparison and uses the means of comparison. Who can rise so high as to comprehend diversity in unity and unity in diversity? This combination is beyond all understanding. We see that everything in nature contains a spontaneous desire to exist better, since this is allowed by natural conditions. The part is not known without knowing the whole, since the part is measured by the whole. Man is the union of soul and body, the separation of which produces death. A man with the most fervent zeal can achieve a higher perfection in wisdom only if he remains very learned even in the very ignorance that is his property, and the more learned he becomes, the better he knows that he knows nothing. Human nature is such a nature that has been placed above all the creations of God and only slightly below the angels. Marsilio Ficino When we talk about love, it must be understood as the desire for beauty, because this is the definition of love in all philosophers. The beauty of the triplet is the beauty of souls, bodies and voices. The beauty of souls is comprehended by the mind, bodies, perceived by sight, voices, only by hearing. Love is the desire to enjoy beauty. Beauty is a kind of radiance that attracts the human soul. Having fallen in love, the most stupid sharpen their minds. Joy is more perfect than knowledge, for not everyone rejoices in the process of cognition, but everyone who rejoices, of necessity, cognizes at the same time. There are two types of love, one is simple, the other is mutual. Simple, when the beloved does not love the lover. Then the lover is completely dead. When the beloved returns love, then the lover lives in him at least. There is something delightful in this. Pietro Pomponazzi the good hate sin, loving virtue. Sin is hated by the wicked, fearing punishment. A wise man would rather prefer extreme misfortune and torment to being in ignorance, stupidity, and vice. Not everyone can have equal perfection, but some of it is given to a greater extent, others to a lesser extent. If this inequality is destroyed, the human race will either perish or be deprived of perfection. No wise man, no matter how poor, weak in body, deprived of earthly goods, would prefer the life of a tyrant or some ruler mired in vices, but reasonably wish to remain in his state. Preferring death for the fatherland, for friends in order to avoid vice, people acquire the highest virtue and benefit others. Following virtue, a person achieves happiness, even if it is partial and not lasting, the consequence of sin is misfortune. Giovanni Pico della Mirandola A holy desire invades the soul so that we, not content with the ordinary, passionately desire the highest and, if possible, achieve, if we want, what is due to all people. He who engages in Kabbalah, who makes a mistake or who has not cleansed himself, will be devoured by Azazel. We do not give you, O oh Adam, either a certain place, or your own image, or a special duty, so that you have both a place and a person and a duty of your own free will, according to your will and your decision. Neither heavenly, nor earthly, nor mortal, nor immortal have I created you, so that you can be free of your own will and conscience, and you will be a creator and creator of yourself. Only you have been given to grow and change according to your own will. You carry in itself the seed of universal life. Man was created by God, but, having free will, he can descend to an animal or rise to a God-like being. He can become his sculptor and creator. Man is the happiest of all living beings and is worthy of universal admiration. To the man who is being born, the father gave the seeds and germs of a heterogeneous life, 
and according to how each one cultivates them, they will grow and bear fruit in him. Erasmus of Rotterdam Every vice is only aggravated by attempts to hide it under the guise of virtue. War is beautiful only for those who have not experienced it. Even in the worst of fates, there are opportunities for happy change. Give light, and the darkness will disappear by itself. If someone lacks the gifts of nature, he compensates for this defect with an increased dose of complacency. If you are cruel in relation to vices, you will do good deeds in relation to a person. To live with dignity is not forbidden to anyone. To have many friends is to have none. What kind of spouse is depends largely on the spouse.